Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm OP and in today's episode we'll be going over some of the best highlights from today's LPL 2024 Spring Split matchup. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. But um, you take them very quickly with a single target damage. So right on spawn, Hacker getting some value for his team. Played up aggressively and after getting his MVP and... Easy does it. Early take over here with the priority we're talking about. And a little bit of moving from Yukai as well. That early dragon and the grubbies actually starting to add up a little bit here. We do have the next spawn of those grubs coming up in a minute. Again, you only need those five to get that double proc. I think it's quite interesting how Trundle is going for a tanky build. Hasn't been started up on the other side, so LGD, they're kind of spinning their wheels a little bit right now. What kind of package would a Rift Herald get? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Cinder Blocks? Maybe in its free time it just likes breaking objects. You just go in with Crit. I could. Alright. Yeah, it's, yeah, so we've got an order of, uh, like, Claw Manicure for, uh, for, 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 for uh, Mrs. It's Shelly or Mrs. Purple? Shelly. Mrs. Shelly. Yeah. Million damage. Even like that. Bertle. That's a tank, Who's by the way. Who's a tank? That's Hello. a single auto attack. That wasn't even empowered with anything. All right, who's driving? <laughs> get, the, get your driver's license That's out. That's a good decade. question. Decade. 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 decade, do it. Show us what you can do. Do it, decade. No, somebody. So, somebody get it. Okay, well, I guess nobody wants to drive today. You got the nature's grass coming out, though. Does get the nice little engage. The tower does fall. Hacker is a bit overextended here. Subjugation doing work. And here comes Ooh. the tidal wave. You got Hightail on the side. Decade trying to take care of that one. Moonlight Vigil comes across. Hightail out and down. Hacker trying to get Kepler. And one shot not going to be enough. Flashing forward. Ooh. And more autos. More kills. And the doggo's eating good tonight. Oh, they get themselves a huge fight in the mid lane. The reason they didn't go and pilot the Heralds is because they knew that there was potentially going to be a re a well, a counter engage coming through. By allowing the, the Herald to just charge by itself, they can get themselves in a better position, and they use that position well. They take the mid lane turret now. They take just, just yet, but Ultra Prime will be there first. And they will have the package. See you guys spinning across the minimap like this. Uh, I mean, you can see Ultra Prime trying to force this mid lane prior. They could really threaten a dive here. Meteor has a really interesting angle. Yukai going deep for the shot, and he gets Kepler down. No space is going to save you today, not even if you have a satellite in the sky. Yeah, that telescope's all useful for seeing things, but it's not useful for getting out of the way of the Corky oh, flying at you. Ultra Prime, though. There we go. High child! He gets that picture perfect moment, and it makes the biggest of differences. Doggo running away from what is some mad hound. Come back after the early game. They're even on gold, but honestly, they could be looking at the Baron here. It's literally last game, but backwards. It just feels so insane to have gotten to this point, but High Chow has been waiting for it. He's been wanting it. And he finally finds that end. It's going to be quite difficult. They stick around, but I think they still should have tried to disengage all the same because High Chow had such a good angle. Yeah, love. I love that Meteor gets in there and gets a 900 gold shutdown. Uh, anyways, it is Ultra Prime on the back end of that play, just getting a third dragon for themselves. It was a good attempt. Sakali's going to do mad damage. He doesn't have any magic resist, though. He's be very careful to keep his HP bar topped up before the English. Ultra Prime seeding an outer tower in mid lane. Very, very strong. About a minute and a half for the Baron. Right, so the next package timing is also going to be very oh, important. Oh, wow, they're oh. really going for this. They can't catch High Chow here. If they do, then that's a big difference. The rocket, not enough. The bird, the bird, it's not going to do it. Oh, man. For sure, as uh, they actually are a little bit scared because they can't see anybody else on the map, but they were perfectly fine. I think High Chow just got his ult back up too. So they were timing that ultimate thinking, hang on, this might be a bit much at that point, but this is exactly what I wanted from Yuakai. Now, the thing is, the Akali does a lot of damage, but takes a lot of damage at the same rate. Ultra Prime gave up. I guess starting it up for Ultra Prime. Yeah, we'll see if they can get to what I mean. They have a very tanky jungler. He can very much help them do that. You can see those particle effects in the Fog of War from our spectator, at least. LGD it takes a long in. time. How much value can Yuakai get? And and High Chow get himself a good angle. I think this is a huge angle from LGD. Baron goes down, but it's a little bit chaos after. Oh, Doggo dashes, and he's immediately pounced on by High Chow. There's no way he was surviving Oh, that. High Chow. Meanwhile, High Chow's just getting taken out there in the end by the combo of Ultra Prime. Bertle has found Hacker in the end, and it's looking like LGD walk away with this one and a continued lead, TPing into the mid lane. 
I think with the death timers, this is at least going to be an inhibitor. I don't know if it's... And he found it. Calculated, slammed that one into Ultra Prime. And poor Doggo just could not fight. It's his first death of the game, but it might be the only one that matters. There's just nothing he can do against this composition. That's sometimes where the Lucian can fall off. They just have built so well around it. And LGD knocking on the doors here with Zwei, the only one to answer. We're going to get the inhibitor, but that will be it. Inhib... Okay, the thing is, uh, you actually have quite a lot of cooldown reduction for this build of Akali, so your ultimate at rank 3 is not going to be that high. You know that the, the recall package. has come through, but imagine it is the package timing, which will yep. be in time for the Baron. Okay, alright, game on. Package, this could be the moment that decides the game. So the pack setup is huge. We've also seen it completely toss games before. Doggo is really far up right there. Needs to dodge out of this one. A lot of damage put in from Meteor. Hacker going to dash out of that oh! one. Big Moonlight Vigil from Kepler. And he gets the damage that's done. And the Baron is now on the table for LGD. Well, that's absolutely Baron for free. It's gone. Package is there for you, Kai. He'll be use it back towards his team. But LGD are hunting. LGD are hungry. And LGD want to tie up this series. They're hunting down Ultra Prime, but they can't get the Shuriken flip. Doggo puts in some damage on High Chow. Now LGD forced to back away. Yuukai is doing some work, as you might as well call him the Ballistics General, because he's hitting the rockets. Kepler! And the calling goes down. He's already gotten the front line and decades out. Oh, the Athalios is online as well. I really think Ultra Prime could have looked for a 4v4 without High Chow in the equation, but they kind of spin their wheels oh, yet again. doesn't have boots. He doesn't have boots. He has no way out of this one. Bertle's just going to run him down. And I think that even if he got back to the base, it would have been a hard ass to defend this one. Yukai has GA. Is that going to be enough? I don't know. Would we have asked for anything different in this one? Chaos was the king when we came into it. We know both these teams have a little bit of trouble in the end, and it does mean we get to go. These were some of the best highlights from today's LPL 2024 Spring Split matchup. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.